more than 36 years, breeders, trainers, and behaviorists have recommended Kong more than any other dog toy. Dogs and their owners choose the original Kong and all of our other toys because they're fun. Kong toys are known for their quality, originality, variety, safety, and value. Give a dog a Kong. They'll be the first to show you. It's not just a toy, it's a Kong. Dogs have been around for millions of years, living in the wild. And like all wild animals, they have to fend for themselves. The pack was their key to survival. Wild dogs hunted together in packs to overpower prey and protected each other from predators. Humans finally realized dogs could be trained to work, herding and protecting livestock. Today, dogs have moved inside the home, and even through recent domestication, dogs' basic instincts have not changed. Trash can scouring, dinner begging, and furniture chewing are all outgrowths of basic instincts and are often considered behavioral problems. Truth be told, it's proof that a dog is just being a dog. 90% of dog owners consider their pets family members. In order to keep them well-adjusted and happy, dogs need to play. With our innovative line of toys and treats, Kong can satisfy all these play needs. Mark Hines, Kong's lead behavior and training specialist, will help you understand how Kong toys can better a dog's quality of life, and he'll share solutions to common behavioral issues that can be addressed with these versatile toys. Hi, I'm Mark Hines. I've been with Kong traveling the world for the past 10 years, working with veterinarians, behaviorists, trainers, service dogs, and shelters. And through these experiences, I've learned and I've shared just how important it is to play with your dog. And by playing with dog toys and having fun, you're effectively creating positive behaviors. You as dog trainers know that prevention is key. The solution to unwanted behavior is to change or manage what motivates your dog to misbehave. Kong toys can be so helpful when working with issues like separation anxiety, destructive chewing, barking, digging. All of these things happen when dogs are lonely or bored. And let's not forget Kongs for crate training. Before you can select the best toys for a dog, it's important to determine their chewing style. A chewing style simply means how a dog chews on toys. There are three basic chewing styles. The first style is gentle chewers. These dogs are easy on toys and prefer plush or fabric toys. They usually like to lick or suck on their toys, but rarely ever destroy them. The second style is average chewers. These dogs love to play with all kinds of toys and will often carry toys around with them while engaging in light to moderate chewing. They can be destructive with plush and fabric toys, but are rarely destructive with rubber toys. Finally, there are the power chewers. These dogs are usually strong, determined chewers who require more discretion when it comes to selecting toys. Choose durable interactive play toys along with hard rubber toys. Sizing up or choosing larger toys is also helpful when picking toys for these dogs. For all dogs, regardless of chewing style, supervise play until you're confident the dog won't destroy the toy. Be sure to replace any toy with cuts, tears, or rips. And remember, no toy is indestructible. Separation anxiety is one of the most common challenges that dogs experience when left alone. Mark will teach you acceptable ways to help a dog cope with this problem by using toys to modify these behaviors. Separation anxiety occurs within the first 20 minutes of when the dog is left alone. With separation anxiety, it's best to develop a positive association with being left alone. The way to do that is to start by stuffing a Kong with your dog's favorite treats. Practice this while stuffing a Kong at quiet times, reading a book, watching TV, and always praise your dog for doing the right thing. Once you've established that your dog can be left alone safely with a Kong, you can start to use multiple Kongs you can start to freeze Kongs. After you leave, this will assure that your dog will be busy working on his favorite Kong for at least 20 minutes. Dogs bark to communicate and dig when bored or afraid. 
Creating good behaviors start with productive play, which allows dogs to expend excess energy. Digging and barking are natural behaviors for dogs, but not socially acceptable for people. Creating ways for your dogs to release energy and keeping them mentally and physically stimulated is the key to reducing that barking and digging. The Kong never bounces the same way, so throwing the Kong for your dog will always be a new and refreshing game. A stuffed Kong can also work well for that dog that's outside to occupy his time and direct his attention to a positive behavior rather than those unwanted behaviors. Crate training is an efficient and effective way to house train a puppy or new dog. In this critical time, you can help relax your dog with a treat stuffed Kong to create a positive association with the crate. As you already know, indoor crates are a highly effective tool in training. It provides your dog with a safe and quiet retreat. So how do we start with crate training? I think one of the best ways is to take a handful of your dog's favorite treats and maybe sprinkle them around the crate throwing a few treats inside the crate and let your dog freely go in and grab one and come back out. Do not close the door. And then advance by stuffing the dog's Kong with his favorite treat. Let your dog see and smell the stuffed Kong, then place the Kong in the back of the crate, leaving the door open. It's helpful to sit on the floor by the crate and praise your dog as they move towards the Kong. As the dog chews on the Kong inside the crate, they become more comfortable. This comfortable feeling will create a positive association with the crate. It's normal for puppies and dogs to chew on objects as they explore their world. For puppies, it's a way to also relieve pain caused by teething. For adult dogs, it's nature's way of keeping jaws strong and teeth clean. Chewing also combats boredom and can relieve mild anxiety or frustration. Success comes when teaching dogs acceptable chewing behaviors from the start. Kong toys come in a variety of rubber formulas, from puppy to adult to senior, so they can grow with your dog. When the new adult teeth are fully set at about nine months, the dog should move from a puppy Kong to Kong Classic or even the black Extreme Kong. Remember to use a variety of toys and treats to keep playtime fun and always monitor how the dog is chewing until you're sure that the dog can be left alone with the toy. Most dogs need to learn to use a Kong toy. Follow these steps to ensure your dog knows how to enjoy all the benefits of this versatile toy. It's important to use the right size Kong so that your dog can have the safest, most enjoyable experience. Engage your dog with their new Kong. Show it off and talk about it with enthusiasm. Maybe even play a little hard to get to pique their interest and show them what their new toy can do. Many dogs are motivated by food and Kong toys are perfect for stuffing with treats or kibble to keep dogs busy. The key is to stuff loosely so that the food will come out easily. To entice your dog, try using a little bit of peanut butter or their favorite treat in the Kong. Over time, your dog will learn how to get treats out of the Kong quickly. To increase the challenge, mix wet and dry ingredients, stuff the Kong, and freeze it. A frozen Kong heightens the experience by creating a long-lasting, mentally stimulating task. Now you know why dogs need to play. The Kong Company understands the important role safe toys play in raising a happy and well-adjusted dog. And that's why Kong is recommended as an important behavioral tool by canine professionals worldwide.